Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today we have an exciting Harry Potter unboxing and it's of a Department 56 figure. I'll show you my complete collection and then the new item that I'm going to box and review for you guys. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> All right, so I am so excited to get the item out of today's box. So, let me show you. <laughs> it's in this big old box. It's from Macy's. And I got this item from Macy's because they were doing a sale at the time. So they were doing about 30, move that. <laughs> so they were doing a 30% off sale on all their Harry Potter Department 56 figures. And if you don't know what Department 56 is, they make a lot of Christmas villages and they have a Harry Potter line as well. And I do have a couple things from that line. If you would have seen my Books A Million video, I went there and I did a tour and a little bit of a haul because I found some items. So back when I went to Books A Million, I got this part of the Hogwarts castle. And I say part because it comes in two parts. But I was really happy to find this there because it was marked down 50% off, so it was only $100. These do retail for $200. They are on the pricier side, but they're really nice Christmas villages. And these figures from Department 56 are so detailed, really good quality. They light up as well. There's a cord back here. And they're just so nice. And I really want the entire collection. I would love a whole Christmas village of all the Harry Potter buildings. I think that would be so amazing. But for myself, I'll be taking it pretty slowly just because they are on the pricier side. But whenever I see a deal on them, I'll definitely jump on it. So that was the case for my first item, which is this part of the Hogwarts castle with the great hall and everything. There's even little Dumbledore's office. That's what this little building is. I'll do close-ups and everything, of course, but that is the item. If you've seen that video, you would have seen that I've had this, and I also have it usually in the background of my video, just on that bench back there. So if you've been seeing it, that's what this is. And I have a couple other figures. I don't have any other buildings, but at Books A Million, they also had Hermione and Ron, and they're practicing charms. They're levitating the, you can see Scabbers here, Hermione is levitating a book. See how it sticks out? So I think that's so cool. And then I also have Harry, whose face looks kind of funny, but this is Harry. And then we've got Dumbledore as well. I love his robes in this, super cute. And last but not least, this one's my favorite of the three. It is Hagrid and Buckbeak. And he's got this little bucket full of water. And I like that this is like an actual rope. It dangles so cute and there's little pumpkins around it. And that's one building I really want is Hagrid's hut. That one's super cute and this would be so cute next to it. So eventually I'll get that as well. I don't see that one go on sale really ever, but when I do, I'll be buying that one as well. <laughs> All right, now for the new building that I have, I'll open that up for you. If you have any guesses of what building you think I have next, definitely leave it down in the comments below. I love seeing all of your guesses. There's so many in the collection that I want, but I am trying to buy them like based on a list. So like my favorites at the top and then I'm gonna trinkle my way down. Unless I see a really good deal on something, I'll just probably get it because I can't pass up a good sale. All right, so now what's in this big old box. All right, so let me see if I can open this up. It's just so big. All right, I've got my magical box cutter here. <laughs> um, I might need to stand up. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna move this box down here. Here's your little sneak peek. <laughs> All right, here is the item. It's in this little bag. Keep it from getting probably water damage just in case. And then of course it's in some styrofoam. But the piece that I got is the Hogwarts Castle Astronomy Tower. So I wanted to complete the figure that I already have with like the Great Hall and everything. I think it's gonna look so good together. One thing I did know online, it kind of looked like the buildings didn't match. I'll pop up a picture on the screen here so you can see what I mean. This one looks darker than that one. But I saw Carla with Geo Jammies on Instagram. She bought them and the buildings actually matched when she opened them up. And that was like my indicator of like, I think I should get it then because I didn't like that they didn't match before. 
But now that I know that they do, I just had to get it. So let's take it out of the packaging. Gotta take the tape off. Da -da -da -da. Okay, first part of the styrofoam off. This is probably the little power cord and everything to get it lit up. The information about department 56 in your figure. I love it, okay. I'm gonna move this aside. This is so cool, okay. All right, so here is the other half of the Hogwarts castle with the astronomy tower. So here is a nice little close up of all the details in the castle. Like you can really see that the building looks like it's made of brick. Here are some of the windows. I still got some styrofoam on there. <laughs> and then here's more of the base and some more of those classroom windows. And on this side, there's a door. It's so cool. The details are amazing. Oh, I just love these so much. Okay, now to see them next to each other. All right, let me see if I can show them to you together without dropping them. <laughs> All right, okay, look. That is so cool. I don't know which way to position them as I'm holding them. Am I holding it right? I don't know, but... <laughs> Look how epic that looks. Like, so you can see how big these really are, like compared to my face. <laughs> oh, these are so cool. I just love all the details on them. It looks just like Hogwarts. I feel like I have my own mini little replica of the castle now. <gasps> and it's not so mini. I mean, mini compared to like how big the castle really is, but this is gonna be so nice to display. And for me, I know I've been saying that they are a Christmas village. I will be displaying mine all year round. Just like I've been displaying this one all year round. This will definitely be in my house all the time. So I can enjoy it throughout all the seasons. And I can always like decorate around them for each season. For like fall, you can put fall leaves and little pumpkins around it. Then around Christmas, you could lay like one of those sheets of snow underneath it. So there's so many different things that you can do with these villages to enjoy them all the time. So I'm really excited for that. They are just too cute and perfect next to each other. I love that the colors do match. I feel like this new one is a shade darker, but I would say that the contrast really doesn't look that different. They do look so good together. I am just obsessed with these two, and this is them lit up. They're so amazing. I love that you can see Dumbledore's office where it should be. I like how the astronomy tower looks. I love all the lights. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this Hogwarts castle, if this is something that you have on your wish list, or if it's something you already own in your collection. I just think it is so cool. I'm so happy that I finally have it. All right, so that is the building together. I think that they looked so good. Also something to know about these. So they do light up like you saw, but they don't have a separate light bulb like you would find in most Christmas villages. They actually do have separate light bulbs in some of the other buildings that they have from Department 56 in the Harry Potter collection. But for this Hogwarts castle, for some reason, they didn't do that. So if the lights ever go out or burn out, I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do. You might be able to reach out to Department 56 and see if they can do something to replace it. But don't quote me, because I haven't run into that problem just yet, but they do have these items still available at Department 56, so I feel like they could do something to replace them. It's not like it's a retired item, so that's good. And I know I mentioned that I got mine on sale over at Macy's for 30% off. So each side of the castle retails for $204. So that is pretty steep. So I'm so fortunate that I was able to find the first half 50% off. So I got the first one for $100. And then I got this second one for $140 because Macy's was doing that sale. So I'm really happy that I got them for almost the price of one. Do I think that this figure is worth $400? That's kind of hard for me to say. I don't think I personally would ever spend $400 on an item to put together. Like if I just count it as one item or 200 for each. But I just know myself, I like getting deals. I like saving money. So I don't know if I would personally say, go ahead and spend $200 on these. I do think they're high quality items and I'm so happy that I have them in my collection. But just spending that much money is a lot. But what I can recommend is just waiting out for some deals. If you're not in a rush to get them, we still have plenty of time before Christmas if you want to create a whole 
Christmas Village. I know by the time that you're seeing this video, the Macy's deal has already ended, has came and went by the time I received this item. <laughs> the sale already ended. But if you are curious when any of these sales are going on and you don't want to miss them, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. That's where I'll post any deals that I do see while they're happening, live in action and everything. So if you are curious, definitely follow me over there. What I can say as of right now, as I'm filming this, there is a sale over on Amazon and I did see that these were on sale for astronomy tower is on sale for $150 so that's only $7 more than what I spent and then the great hall is on sale for $179 so not as big of a discount because they are both retail for the same but if you are trying to look to save some money and you're excited to get them and get a Harry Potter Christmas village of your own those are some deals to look out for. I do see Amazon do discounts often. Other third-party retailers sometimes have sales, so just always scour the internet. That's what I can recommend. Sometimes you can find them over on eBay, Mercari, places like that, but don't spend over retail price because these are items that are not retired. You can get your hands on them for even just the retail price. I do see them sometimes on eBay for double don't spend more than retail price on these. That's all I can recommend. But I am so happy that I have these two now in my collection. I can complete Hogwarts. It makes me so happy. There are some other items that are on the top of my wish list that I want to get. I really want the burrow and I want Hagrid's hut. I would also kind of like to complete the Hogsmeade area so they have Honey Dukes, they've got the three broomsticks. I think those would look super cute, especially because they have snow on them, so they'll look very Christmassy. And they also have a bunch from Diagon Alley, so you could kind of like finish a collection for each side if you wanted to first, if you're kind of doing it piece by piece. And I think that's what I'm gonna do, unless I see a good deal. But that is everything for today's video. I know today's video was a kind of a shorter video, but I really wanted to do my unboxing and full review of this item on YouTube for you guys. I think that they are so amazing. I can't wait to collect some more. And let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the Department 56 Christmas Villages. There are other companies out there that do Harry Potter Christmas Villages as well. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are on those. There's Bradford Exchange that does some, but I think it's more of a subscription base, so it's kind of harder to collect them. You have to wait as you go. I think they're smaller and they're not as precise in detail because they're like hand painted. As far as I know, I don't have any in my own collection. I think they go for about the same amount. They might be a little less expensive, but if you know anything about the Bradford Exchange Harry Potter Christmas Villages, let me know down in the comments. There's also the Hallmark kind of villages that you can create with all the ones that come out each year. And there's so many out now that you could make a village out of them. They have the Hogwarts Castle, that was the tree topper. There's the three broomsticks, there's Honeydukes, and there's so many more. So if you've been collecting them throughout the years, that would be an easy little village you could create. If that's not something that you've been collecting, they do go up in value each year. So they're a little more expensive to purchase now if you weren't buying them in real time. I have the three broomsticks and Honeydukes. I am definitely scouting the internet whenever I can find some of the other ones on like eBay and Mercari and OfferUp. Facebook Marketplace, if I can find them at a reasonable price, I am going to purchase and collect those as well. It's not just because I wanna do like a village with them. I think they look really cute displayed on a bookshelf, but I also do a Harry Potter Christmas tree. And I know it's only fall, but I'm so excited for Christmas. So I definitely am on the lookout for some Christmas things because I wanna be prepared around that time of the year. And this is the time to do it. That way you can do it a little bit slowly and save up for each item. And also one thing I wanna mention is this background behind me will be changing very soon. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you would have seen I made a trip over to Ikea finally, and I picked up some new bookshelves. So I will have a new arrangement behind me, and I know I'm gonna need to start filling them up as well because right now I have a complete one bookshelf full, but I got more than one now. So I can't wait to start collecting even more Harry Potter goodies. I'll definitely be sharing them and showing them to you guys here over on my YouTube channel. So definitely be on the lookout for that. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of these Harry Potter Christmas villages. Do you want to see me do more unboxings in the future on this channel? Please let me know. But as always, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. 
Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.